Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hello everyone, welcome back to Torchlight. I actually learned when My I was going through oh. Diablo 2, well after I came back to Diablo 2, after I put the after I shelved this, that the people who worked on Diablo 2 actually worked on this game. And that actually makes me like it even more. And seeing as how Dark Souls 3 is currently giving me issues, hopefully I'll resolve that, but in the meantime, I just need something to record in this slot, you know? Ain't nobody got time for that. I decided I'd just go back to this, at least for one slot. And it really does make me appreciate the game that much more, knowing that it actually was made by the same people who made Diablo 2. And in retrospect, that probably explains why so much of the game's mechanics are the same. It was like Bloodstained before Bloodstained was even a thing. Or, you know. I guess you can say Bloodstained is like the torchlight of... It's like the torchlight to Diablo's Castlevania. I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong, but... Oh well. You know what I mean. It's like a reinvigoration of Diablo, like Bloodstained would later become a reinvigoration of Castlevania. I sometimes get tongue-tied. Don't worry about it. I guess that's the pitfall when you're trying to come up with things on the fly instead of reading from a script. Fun fact, that's why my reviews tend to be much more eloquently placed. Because I tend to have words in front of me. I can actually plan out what I say before I say it. Here, it's pretty much just, you know, whatever comes out of my mouth. And whatever comes out of my mouth isn't necessarily the most intelligent. Hi there. The Flesh Blood Bound Tomb is somewhere on the other side of the portal. The book doesn't say exactly where it's at. I can just get you into the general area. Oh, okay. That was the portal to get back, not to go forward. Whoops. But wait, why were there enemies between there? If you find yourself dying too much, you should try to increase your armor. Good advice, I guess. You know what, actually, I'm just gonna... I should probably just go along with the main story. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Let's see. Incomplete. Find the Overseer's Library. I believe that it can cure the Emperor Blight that infects your body. Okay. I should mark that as my essential quest, because it, it is. It's an essential quest. I should mark that as my main quest. Find the Overseer's Library. Wait, where would I even go for the Overseer's Library? Good journey. Is there some kind of... check marker somewhere? I'm guessing there's not. I just have to find it myself, don't I? Well, where's the library at? How would I even know what it, where to go? Hello. Hello there. I built a home here, and I'm not gonna let those monsters drive me away. There's still good ember in those tunnels. I'm glad you think so, pal. Well, there are people with question marks over their heads. Good day to you. Vakasir awaits you in the mines, make it battle worthy of song. I had heard of corruption in Torchlight's Ember. I did not think it was so dangerous. The Overseer dwelt amongst it for decades before it rotted his sanity away. Why have you and Master Ulrich been affected so quickly? What matters now is finding a cure. Search the crypts below the mines for the Overseer's library. You may find the Overseer himself still guards it. You will need to find the strength to overcome him. Beware of Ulrich. He is incredibly powerful. Thanks for the tip. Really appreciate it. Man, I've got so much stuff. <laughs> I should probably do something about it, huh? Let's see. Hmm, look at that. Wait. This is literally the same exact thing, isn't it? Yeah, it, it pretty much is the exact same thing, so why am I keeping it? Ah, oh, good. Shift clicking actually does that. That's cool. Unidentified ring, huh? I should probably do something about that. Ooh, ice damage. Faster cast speed, plus 21% health. Not bad. Electric resistance, ice damage. Huh, look at that. Is that literally... Okay, it's literally the exact same thing again. I found another duplicate. Isn't that lovely? Let's see. Wait, what the? What to say? Oh, I did have something there. Whoops, 86 damage per second. Uh, 74 damage per second. Hmm. 
I get the feeling it's not going to be worth it. This is average attack speed. That was the fastest, so get rid of that. Start actually getting rid of stuff that isn't so helpful. Chance to block 50% of missile damage. Attribute bonus 48% plus 48 health. Let's see, sell price 20, sell price 19. Okay, the prices have spoken. Gotta go by that. 104 damage, 103 damage, 67, 64. So, this actually, it's actually worth more. Five armor degraded per hit, but this is a critical hit chance. You know what? Forget this. Wait, what's its... Okay, average attack speed, slow attack speed. Never mind, never freaking mind. But this does do a lot more damage. Well, not that much more damage, but you know what I mean. Definitely getting rid of this stuff, though. Ooh, Gauntlets of Resistance. That is awesome. Increases all poison damage by 3%. Ah, it increases it. It doesn't actually... It doesn't actually, um, give you poison damage. It just increases whatever's already there. That's not so good. Yep, yet another duplicate. 13 armor and 3 ice resistance. Huh, look at that. It's literally the same, except this also has light resistance, so, uh, get rid of that. Okay, I think I'm ready to actually move on now. Huh, look at that. It actually compares it to what you already have on. That's very helpful. This is inferior. Why would I want this? Inferior. In... Fastest attack. Hmm. It actually does a tiny bit more than what I'm currently holding. Not by a lot, mind you, but enough. Enough that I'm definitely going to sell this one. Increase gold fine. That is situationally helpful, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. That's also situationally helpful, arguably. Good journey. Okay. I'm finally going to just stop buying and start going into the mines already. Sorry it took so long. Send them on their way. That's interesting. Ah, fair enough. It's pretty cool. What am I doing? <laughs> Wasting arrows is what I'm doing. What's over here? Ah, of course, a drop off. <laughs> Illusion. I'm deluding myself into thinking I actually have a choice here. Probably wasn't the smartest idea. Or even a particularly smart idea. Hello there. In my off time, I do a spot of cave fishing down here. You'd be surprised at the variety of fish in these underground pools. Oh, so there are no more enemies here. I literally just stroll my way through. Is that another identity scroll? I'm guessing it is. It's too bad there's no sprint button. Although I'm guessing that would defeat the purpose. Probably better that my guy just walks reasonably fast on his own. Although I guess I'm just so used to it that I just, um, you know, I just expect it. It's weird. It's one of those habits that you can never really shake off. Because I feel the urge to hold shift, but when I do, it just makes him attack. So yeah. Fishing hole. Let's see what I get, what I drag up. Okay, clearly nothing right now. You caught nothing, I know. Thank you for telling me that. Dang. Didn't get nothing. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> okay. Clearly, um, I'm doing something wrong. I'm fishing it up too fast. Ah, here we go. You gotta wait for the... You gotta wait for the orb to circle around itself. Hey, buddy. You want some fish? Here, buddy. Here, little guy. I just give it to him straight? Nope. Right. You gotta feed it into his inventory, don't you? Ah, we'll drop it here. Sorry, it's been forever since I played this game. 
My delish, my wonderful dog has become a spider dog. Spider dog. The stairs down lead to many evils. Maybe by the time I get to that overseer library, I'll actually remember how to play the game. Good. <laughs> Good, I was hoping the game wasn't about to crash. That would suck. Ah, the enemies are coming. Luckily, I'm well prepared for them. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you are no match for me now. You may have been a slight nuisance when I was first coming here, but now you are literally nothing. You're just a side stone. Well, a stepping stone, I should say. Nothing more than a great big red mist to adorn my path with. That's all you can provide that is meaningful in any way. Ooh, a new path. Awesome. A glancing blow. Wow, you suck at this, don't you? Hey, buddy. How would you like to die? Oh, critical strike. I love that. I love me some critical strikes. Hope Link's doing okay. Hey, he's doing fine. He's ripping in half of them before I get a chance to. Hey, save some for me, big guy, huh? He's very eager, ain't he? Aw, you're so quick to rush into your death. Isn't that lovely? They have the ability to jump. As if I should actually be afraid at all. Hey, buddy. A trap has been sprung. Indeed. I should probably not do that. What the heck is... Oh, Shrine of Mana. Cool. That was pretty pointless because I haven't exactly been using spells, but you know. I forgot, I actually have spells. Nice. Of course, I don't really need it. I can just smash him up. Oh, it's the end of this rainbow. The cunning. More like the cunningly dead. I am so sorry. That was lame even by my standards. I will I will try to do better. Try, of course, being the operative word. I can't guarantee anything, but I can guarantee that there will be an effort. Probably. Hello there, arachnophobia. Perhaps you should have feared me. I'm going to kick that spider's ass so hard, I'm going to give it phobias. I don't know what I was going for with that. Let's gel out our problems, huh? Oh, this is crazy. Yes, indeed. And now they have even less of a chance in hell. Isn't that nice? How many do I have to adorn? Increase strength. Okay, points remaining. Ten. Cool. Let's increase the strength and dexterity, of course. And maybe a little bit on defense. But mostly dexterity and strength. Range damage, huh? Well, melee damage is, of course, the priority because I'm using melee damage mostly. But being able to occasionally fire off a spell or two and have it be worth a damn might be good, too. At this point, I think I could just be a bruiser. A berserker type. Of course, that'll probably change at some point. But I'm no longer fighting under-leveled enemies. Don't even know why I'm bothering, really. I can just run. Not that I'm running away from them, of course. Just that I'm considering them not worth my time. What the? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was wondering why that archway was glowing. I guess one of the enemies was doing it for some reason. Is that seriously all you've got? I feel sorry for you, almost. 
And I do say almost. Because they did start it. Oh, look at that. Simple hatchet. Cool. That is amazing. I'm not sure if I can, should consider this a good thing or a bad thing, that the fact that all items, literally, no matter what they are, they take up one slot, but... You know, it is... It is nice not having to worry about what kind of item you're getting, it's just... Just a blanket. Ah, right, he's full of items, too. I completely forgot about that. Whoops. And now we're both almost full of stuff. First world problems, huh? Or, as I should say, torchlight problems. It's all good here. Hello, buddy. You call that a glancing blow? I call it a killing blow. Alright, maybe I should wait until I can get to somewhere new. Yeah, I should probably do that. Alright. Hang tight real quick. I'll let you know if I reach anywhere new from this point. Huh. This looks like something new. I think I'll go partake. Also, I cleaned out my pockets. Well, both mine and my pets, as you can see. My pet doesn't even have anything in his inventory right now, except for a spell. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh! Wait, what? That That's it? Or at least for that quest. Asked you to find a piece of gleaming ember in the mines. Well, alright then. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. I guess now I need to go to the library. Wherever that is. Hang tight real quick. Well, this seems to be somewhere new, or at least it's the layer of the sisters. I wonder where the overseer's library actually is. And I wonder if I'll actually care. Oh, look at that. Enemies are actually doing a noticeable amount of damage to me now. I might actually have to use potions at some point. Crazy, isn't it? It took me this... I'm overburdened. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know, there's, a, there's an easy solution to that. Of course, I'll... I'll do it once I actually kill all these idiots. Resurrect skeletons, of course. Alright, let's do this. I've killed everyone in the surrounding area, then I'll just give everything to my pet. My pack is full. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, there are a lot of quality of life improvements, but it seems to have one quirk of its own. Why not just give it to your pet? To aggressive stance. Okay, that's cool. Okay, shift click, shift click, give everything to you. Actually, I should probably identify some of the stuff. That'll get rid of one of the slots, at least for the identity scrolls. Yes, and everything is working out just fine. Now just give your pet everything. See? No problem. No sweat. Ooh, health potion. Leather hood. Sure, why not? I've got enough space. <laughs> Especially since my little furry companion here is providing me extra inventory space. And I only have to worry about one slot per item, no matter what. What do you think you're doing to my dog? You really think I'm gonna let you get away with that, Munchacho? You're playing a very dangerous game, my friend. The game of screwing with a man's dog. And you don't want to do that. Unless you want to get... the staff. And I don't think you do. Unless you just really are that stupid. Oh, hey, buddy! Bunch of stiffs around here. I need to liven the place up a bit. <laughs> what a shocking experience, huh? I'm not interested in your big boom surprise, though. Ooh, look at that. Piercing bow! Don't go piercing my heart. Hello there, Bones. Ah, they've got a shield. Unfortunately for you, a shield isn't as sturdy as you may think it is. 
You may as well be the cardboard knight for all the good it's doing you. Right, resurrect skeletons. I should probably take care of him first. That might be a good idea. Who knows, though? Hey, uh, champ, you doing okay? You're ca you were kind of poisoned there for a second. I don't want anything to happen to you. Although, I think you're... I think your pet can't really die in this game. He just flees or something. Once his health gets low enough. So yeah, he's safe. I just have to not die myself. Which is pretty easy. Hello, friend. Yeah. You just now noticed, huh? Congratulations, you really are observant, aren't you? A lot of gold! Gee, I wonder if this might be a trap of some kind. Heh, <laughs> couldn't be, right? This feels familiar, though. I almost feel like I've done things like this before. Not just in this game, but in Diablo. Your poison is barely a threat to me. If it even is a threat. What's with the phase portal, huh? Does that denote the beginning of the next phase or something? I have no idea. Unidentified necklace, huh? Sure, I'll grab that. Why the hell not? And then I'll use this to identify it. What? Oh, curious enchanted necklace. I was reading the one I already had. Which made me a little confused. And a little amused. My pack is full. Yeah, I know. Y don't you mean your dog's pack is full? Yeah, I'm sure that's what you meant. It'd be funny if the if the dog made a a criticizing bark. Like he's trying to say, what are you doing? My inventory's full. Instantly sell. The secret mines, huh? Huh. Not just any mines. These mines are very secret, you see. Oh, crap. These ones are actually... These ones mean business. They're actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. Oh. Well, my, my pet is, um... My pet seems to be doing just fine, though. At least for now. Uh-oh. Not for long. If I don't take this, take care of business right now, this is going to be bad for both of us. Oh, oh, holy crap. I underestimated these things. We're both going to die at this rate. You okay, pup? Come on. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, come on. Take this. You're not gonna hit my dog again. Cap Pike the Savage. An identified ring, huh? Little lock carbine. I don't even know what that is, but I'm grabbing it because I'm a kleptomaniac. What do you expect? In these games, you pretty much have to be. Uh oh. We're, we're both not looking so... Okay, the pet... My pet flees. Yeah, I see that. Okay. It should be fine, though, as long as I survive and kill these enemies. Take this. I know. I can see that. Thank you. Don't worry. You just... You just concentrate on staying alive, okay? We'll be just fine. There we go. Nice. This truly is a bounty to be sure. Don't worry, my pet. I'll take care of business. And then we can all go home. Like, literally, right now. I plan on using a town portal because we're over encumbered anyway. Or at least I'm getting there. Why not? What's stopping you, huh? Are you just arbitrarily deciding that you can't? You okay, Pep? You have gained the level. 
Awesome. Oh, look! Ah, gaining a level restores our health. Good to know. That's awesome. Go! Shut up. Uh-oh. Okay, these guys are weak. Can you handle it, puppy? I can't carry anymore. Yeah, that's that's freaking fantastic. Gold standard. I can't carry anymore. Shut up. Right, right. Oh, that's not good. I can't cast that yet. Why not? Come on, man. I can't carry anymore. Liar. I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure you're lying to me right now. I'm fairly certain that if you really tried, you could carry more. Somehow. I'm not really sure how, but... Eh, we'll find a way, won't we? I'm overburdened. There are far too... There's far too much stuff here to just let it go. I mean, come on. Can I just send my pet into town? I, I... Apparently you can, but... How long would it take for your pet to get back? Oh, assign remaining stat points. Oh, um... You can... Assign individually? Oh. Oh, no, wait. It's because... Yeah, um... I didn't do it the first time. Right. Here you go. Yeah, that'll be good, right? Oh, wait. I have skill points, don't I? Whoops. Did I forget to do that? Yeah, that's my bad. Points remaining, 15. Holy crap. Requires level 1. What? Sure. Ember Shock. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Defense spell, dual wielding. Ember Sentry. A Sentry Crystal Blast nearby enemy. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Sure, why not? Grab all of that stuff. Defensive Spell Mastery. Purchase and Fuse. Okay, clearly I can't get this stuff yet. But the Ember Shock. Yeah, that sounds cool. Really cool. Martial weapon damage. I see. All right, that includes swords too. Wait, and not staffs. Crap. That was not the best thing for me to grab, for me to pull into. Oh, look at that infuse for increased damage. That sounds good. At least I think so. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, that's fantastic, pal. What's this portal for? Hopefully it'll take me somewhere good. Oh. I see. It'll take me here. Wherever this is. Can I use a portal yet? Thank you! Holy crap! I was beginning to wonder, pal. You were beginning to make me wonder. Yeesh! Need to merchant st merchant some stuff already. Where were you? Pawn off some stuff. Plus three strength. Yeah, it's probably not worth it, especially to get rid of the ones that I already got. That is definitely inferior. 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 Definitely inferior. Not technically inferior, but it's useful for different things, and yeah. Ice resistance, is that worth it? Probably not. Now let's be real. Okay, dull skull. Five weapons still on hit. Ah, it's a gem. Okay, I probably want to keep that. Now that is basically just straight inferior. That is actually superior. I like that. It's a gun, too. But hey, guns are cool. Three armor degraded per hit, but it is significantly weaker, so not worth it. Four armor plus two armor. Okay, even if even if that was a thing, it still wouldn't be worth it. 
I can't use that right now, but I'm gonna shelf it because I'm pretty sure I can in the future. Okay. That has a socket, but it's probably not worth it. If I'm being honest. Yeah, the stats are significantly weaker. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Experience gain, not worth it. Not worth it. Weaker. Not worth it. I like ice damage, but not worth it. I better. I should just probably do this faster. Okay, obviously I can't sell that. I gotta give. I gotta get rid of it by taking it to the person that needs it. We saw physical and elemental damage by two. It does have two sockets. That could be situationally helpful. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. It has two sockets again. But then again, the helmet that I have has so many perks. Yeah, forget it. Alrighty then. Okay, let's do this. I forgot who wanted the Ember. Vasman, okay. Wherever Vasman is. Hello. Sorry. Oh, wait. Trillbot. Where's Vasman? Who even is Vasman? Oh wait, exclamation mark. I'm guessing uh This will make a grand adventure. You must prove yourself worthy to slay the fiercest of beasts. The damned is thought to be an invincible foe, but a courageous warrior need not listen to such rumors. The beast layers ten floors before torchlight. Return and tell me your tale. Except, okay. Also, I realized I'm getting way over my time limit, but hey, that's what happens when you're having fun. In the meantime, I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like dungeon crawling, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. And have a night. Oh, there, there you are. Ah, oh, I see you found the gleaming ember. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Here's your reward. This is a nice, clear piece, but still, there's something odd about it. All the ember from Torchlight seems to have a special quality. Well, I'll understand it better. Peace out. Have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.